Various political parties demand Chief Minister to step down from Home Minister pose in wake of abduction and murder of Atwan Abonmai case, where Abonmai was abducted in front of security personnel. Truck drivers transporting goods along National Highway No. 37 call steering wheel down strike starting 6 a.m. tomorrow against failures of authorities concerned to repair National Highway No. 37. Woman dies after child delivery at Wangui Community Health Center. Enraged family members storm the CHC demanding termination of doctor and staff. Manipur reports 210 new COVID-19 cases in three days in the last 24 hours. COVID positivity rate stands at 7.07%. And India adds 28,326 fresh COVID-19 cases, 26,032 recoveries and 260 days in the last 24 hours. Recovery rate stands at 97.77%. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English Bulletin. I'm Ibeto Itokchong. To stay protected from coronavirus, wash your hands frequently, wear your face mask properly and maintain a safe distance. Now the news in details. Convener of JAC formed against brutal killing of Atuan Abonmai's Majabung Gangmai said Atuan Abonmai's body will undergo autopsy tomorrow. However, Abonmai's body will not be claimed until government fulfilled the demand of JAC. Speaking to media at Grace Colony Langol in Imphal today, Majabung said, as per the assurance given by the Chief Minister to hand over the case to NIA during a meeting convened between JAC and Chief Minister today, the JAC approved for the post-mortem. He had their keeping body for long would also assist in dispelling evidences. He said that JAC members will be present during the post-mortem with videography and the body will be kept at rim smoke afterwards. Majab Ngame also said the JAC will continue to protest until the case is handed over to National Investigating Agency, Tamenglong District Deputy Commissioner and Tamenglong District Superintendent of Police are suspended from their respective posts until the time family members of Atwana Bonmais are compensated. He also maintained that the JAC is still firm with its decision on imposing shutdown at National Highways 29 and 37 starting the midnight of September 27 till the midnight of September 29 and the call for Manipur shut down from midnight of September 29 till the midnight of September 30. And I the case hand over to Nova Mokoi Sem Sare and the process still later. The high Tang Tabasi, a Koi Karigumba, Yarnava, Kotpa, Atai di Laitri, a Koi High River Department, a fulfilled way to late Home Ministry, the Masi case, and I in a local Piro Haibuki say, Moina processes to Buki chase on the Ekoi the Amapangale. Okay, Aduga, dead bodies you go in the Tamadi, post mortem see, I'm taking the Tauri, a Koi to sue minus point curly. Evidence <laughs> MPCC Vice President come former Minister Dr. K. H. Ratan Kumar condemned abduction and murder of Atuan Abonmais by suspected armed militants amid tight security while on his way to attend a function to be chaired by Chief Minister. Ratan Kumar demanded resignation of the Chief Minister from the post of State Home Minister on moral ground instead of condemning himself regarding the incident. He made the statement during mass membership launching program organized by Mayang Imphal Assembly Youth Congress Committee at his residence at Mayang Imphal Konchak today. Dr. Ratan Kumar said that the incident made it crystal clear that law and order situation in the state has failed. He also said if N. Birain cannot resign from the post of Home Minister, then he must work sincerely for proper conduction of the ongoing combing operation carried out at the to hunt down those involved in murder of Atuan Abonmai.
He also said militant groups which are under suspension of order killing people for speaking against them is of serious concern. He also criticized that BGP national leaders who recently came down to Manipur did not discuss on prevailing law and order situation in the state, but they were more focused on the upcoming election. MPCC General Secretary Hareshwar Gosami, Youth Congress Working President S. Joni, Mayang Infa Block Congress Committee President T. H. Raj Mohan Maitai, VP H. Ingocha attended the event. Home Minister Paiva, Chief Minister Masabana, Masimbatu, Matuki was said, Masiri Damata, Lale, he was said, Miam the Hydra in the Hyde. That is Adurgadi, is some of the public are going to come my lady. Chief Minister Sam of Helpless Werba, Maduma State Aduda, Maduma Governance Aduda, Adurgadi. What would be the fate of an innocent public? Tahi Tripan, who part of Tahi Tripan, Surma Mana, Rimakama, BJP, Maram Dana, or no Chief Minister, Peace with the Taku to the police are good. Janata Dal United condemned the abduction and brutal killing of Atwana Bonmai and demanded to the Chief Minister, who is also the Home Minister, to hand over. Home Minister posed to responsible minister as per interest of public. Briefing media at party's office in New Chekonra today, JDU President Hanganfau titled term, security personnel who were present during Abon Mai's abduction remaining a mere spectators as unfortunate. He added in such situation, current law and order situation of the state is questionable. He asserted that such security forces have no purpose in state anymore. Honorable Chief Minister na mana pai riba security department as a ningting ning ai na mana yeng sinba ngamde hai besidi jeju na pongok chari public interest ta mahag na athu ba matam da magi khai degi thajaba minister amada department as a lanthok pa asi parayagi oi na di o lenga khai bese asi magni parayagi interest ta parayagi sentiment nga na chatli hai bedo khoi lo jagani Lenga ki manak tamang mi pa naraga tobo taraga di. Lady ba security forces mayam se karay desi naga tobo no. Ano uno ba security forces le hay na lokshin liba sing se karay desi naga tobo no. Athali te paraya ke kana bagi tamang ta thabak tobio. Speaking to media, JDU State President also assured to sponsor its party candidates who will be contesting in upcoming general assembly under one national policy. He also said that preparations are underway for fielding over 20 party candidates and appeals public for support towards party success in the election. He added that JDU party candidates, by taking part in government formation, will strive towards fulfilling developmental works which the BJP and Congress failed to take up. National policy later, but I'm not giving a card election. Jay, you know, thing that I'm going any party, big or small, or a su compete to none of a gi, payari, repression to Zare, party to Antonan Badagi Kande, party at Oba, pick with the labor, party can missing Kande, mana lady, but party to the. Apaba amasung mana parti mana tawdo ba thabak to toba pai khap pangam de hai na khan ba kana guma le rega di JDU national policy ma gi makha da election tawdo ri ba fight tawdo ri ba JDU ase sitting me le oire su ex me le oire su tongan tongan ba bibhag ta le ba officer oire ga su thorak piu Kumbi urban development committee also demanded to state government to arrest all individuals involved in the abduction and brutal murder of former president of Jilian Rongbao Di Atuan Abon Mai, committee members carried out candlelight vigil at the committee office last night, wherein the members also observed a two minute silence as a mark of respect to the departed leader. The committee urged all concerned not to repeat such act in future but strive for peaceful coexistence among all communities in the state. Residents of Kres Colony Tarung under JEC against the brutal killing of Atwana Bonmai State set in protest at Tarung Imphal today condemning the brutal murder of former President Julia Rongbaudi AMN Abonmai. 
speaking to media, member of Craze Colony Tarum Women's Wing, Afuna Golmai appealed to state government and relevant authorities to arrest those involved in the crime and give them befitting punishment at the earliest. September 21, the CM Gi, the Menglong, the inauguration, the Horongi, the Magta, the Kiva, three aton of Aboma, social worker, who Minung Si Laitana, Sanga, Hapa Dumaina, Masakang, the Ba, Mioina, Tamtiba Mung, the Hat Kiva, Tamoi Sokna, Pendava, Ima, Ibel, Mayam, the Darna, Tauzabani, Atuba, Matamda, Mihapa, Adu, Dandi, PBU, Aduga, Lake Hidraba, Imung, the Honorable CM, the Media, the High Kiva Sing, Adu, Atuba, Matamda, Tabo, Oina, Pangto Piu, Hive, say, up till Tauzari. Uripo Apunbalu UAL extended solidarity to the undertakings of Joint Action Committee against brutal killing of Atuana Bonmai. UAL representatives visited the residents of Led Atuana Bonmai and had word with family members. UAL also appealed to all club organizations and Maira Paibi groups to extend solidarity in demanding justice for Atuana Bonmai. We <laughs> Global Naga Forum and Indigenous Peoples Association of Kangli Park Ipak in different press releases have strongly denounced the murder of Atwan Abonmai. Manipur police team has conducted search operations at areas of Tamenglong district from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. in connection with Atwan Abonmai's killing. According to Impact News sources, team led by ASP Railways, Kabai Shoi Special Commando Unit in charge Krishna Tombi under supervision of Additional Director General of Police KJ Enter carried out the search operation. No one has been arrested so far. Old Jiribam Road Transport and Drivers Union said truck drivers transporting goods along National Highway No. 37 called steering wheel down strike starting 6 a.m. tomorrow against failures of authorities concerned to repair the National Highway No. 37. Speaking to media, a AJR TDU General Secretary L. Manitone said the union along with truck drivers had already requested relevant authorities to repair National Highway No. 37 within September 25. However, road restoration work has not carried out so far. Above this, the union had also written to NHID CL to repair the deplorable road areas. In an unfortunate incident, a woman died while delivering her baby at Wangoi Community Health Center, following which red family members stormed the community health center, accusing the doctor's concern for negligence. The deceased is 24-year-old Maiba Monica, wife of M. Suresh from Ashangba, Awang Leikai, Iram Sifai Lerak, Imphal West. Speaking to Impact News, Suresh informed that Monica was undergoing treatment at Wangoi CHC since she got pregnant and with advice from the doctor's concerns, she was taken to the CHC for delivery yesterday morning. Suresh said nurses in the CAC, however, told him to admit Monica in the afternoon. Accordingly, Monica was admitted to the CAC at 4.30 p.m. and nurses administered her with the necessary medicine for delivery at around 6 p.m. He maintained that his wife started complaining of abdominal cramps at around 8 p.m. to which family members requested the nurses present at the CAC to call the doctor since her wife was already in labor and the baby had started to come out while Monica was on the bed. He added that Monica delivered to a baby at around 8.45 p.m. by a team led by male nurse as assigned doc duty doctor with 
nowhere to be seen. Upon inquiring about the mother's condition, much later, a nurse gave assurance to family members that nothing will happen to Monica and they need not worry of the situation. However, around 12 a.m. midnight, the assigned duty doctor informed that the mother was losing blood excessively and she was referred to RIMS hospital immediately. Upon arriving at RIMS, the patient was announced death on arrival. Enraged family members demanded termination and cancellation of license of Wangui CAC Dr. M. Ibocho, who was assigned night duty during the incident. Expression English, they further demanded termination of staff who neglected the duty at the hospital last night. Wangui Police Station has registered a case on the same for further investigation. <laughs> Referring to rumors among people regarding who will get BJP ticket in the Wankai Assembly constituency, Wankai Assembly and ex Minister Okram Henry said that BJP leaders must have acknowledged his works and dedication towards the party. He was speaking during formation of Wankai BJP Mahila Mocha at Community Hall Soibam Lekai Citizen Club today. As Rita was elected as President, C.H. Sangita as General Secretary Administration and S.H. Indira as General Secretary Organization. Speaking on the occasion, ex-Minister Okram Henry said that the role of women of the constituency in the upcoming election will be made clear under the newly formed committee. Highlighting the broad construction work he has done during his tenure, he assured to avail the benefits of various projects of the government to every beneficiary of the constituency if he ever emerged successful in the upcoming election. Manipur reported 210 new confirmed cases of COVID-19 out of 2,970 samples tested in the last 24 hours. Today's COVID positivity rate stands at 7.07 percent. As per the latest report from State Health Department and COVID-19 Command Control Room, total confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Manipur have reached 1,19,884. Three COVID patients, one each from Imphal East, Imphal West and Okrul, died in the last 24 hours. Death toll reads 1,846. Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we'll bring you updates on coronavirus cases in India and the world. Keep watching Impact News. Hello viewers, Impact Music on Demand da selfie video request can be a pamatam da adom na selfie video record tau bi raga apam ba isai singa du kan bi u aduga ekoi na pizari ba watch number asida soi dena tha bi rau. Impact Music on Demand every Saturday 6.30 p.m. only on Impact Music HD and SD channel. Welcome back after the break. You're watching Primetime English Bulletin. India added 28,326 fresh COVID-19 cases, 26,032 recoveries and 260 deaths in the past 24 hours. 
As per the latest report of Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, India's COVID-19 active cases are 3,3476. Total recovered cases are 3 crore 29 lakh 2,351 and recovery rate stands at 97.77 percent. While that toll has reached 4 lakh 46,918, COVID-19 has been administered to more than 85 crore 60 lakh people in India so far. Globally, coronavirus has infected above 23 crore 23 lakh 60,000 people and above 47 lakh 58,000 people have died and recoveries are above 20 crore 18 lakh 72,000. USA has the highest active case of above 98 lakh 57,000 in the world, followed by India and Brazil. Irawad Celebration Committee Manipur observes State Mourn Day today, commemorating the 78th date anniversary of Lamyan Bajan and Neta Hizam Irawad. Members of CPI Manipur State Secretariat paid floral tribute to the statue of Hizam Irawad during the program held at Irawad Bhavan in BT Road, Imphal. Speaking on the occasion, Secretary of CPI Manipur State Committee Laishram Sotin Kumar said, Irawad revolted against the then Manipur government and British for the rights of poor farmers. He added Irawad's compassion towards the poor and needy, his struggle for Manipur's freedom from the then British rule, are not to be forgettable. Sotin Kumar said CPI, Manipur State Committee, will strive towards realizing Irawad's dream of a united and progressive society. Mahanali Kidavase, Ekoki Party, Communist Party, the Mukadi, Chaurava, Mangja Vamani, Luena, Lepasigi, Apunbuki Sakam, Kanba Pamba, Lomi Miam, Sin Miam, Homo Propa Pamba, Ano Vamani Purama, Sem Nabagi, Lambi, the Hena, Kumang, Sauksalanga, the Bukaya Singado, Madamatam Kara, Tintangi, Adobo, Ekoki Party, Communist Party, Comrade Iravona, Tengabiramba Mahana, Loramba Mahaki Firep, Mahaki Pandam, Madu Fangadam Bukita Makta, Ekoi, Tabuma Masukna, Iravoki, Ta, Hana Palon, Tosabu. People paid floral tributes to statue of Lamyan by Irawat at Yadi Pok Malum today commemorating the 78th death anniversary of Lamyan by Irawat. Committee for Socialist Movement Manipur, CSMM and Yaifa Lamjing Maira Club organized the event. Irawat Celebration Committee Ningtokong in association with Yukobid Lions Club of Ningtokong, D. Kekkers Education Center, Ningtokong, and AISF held 25th birth anniversary of Hizam Irawat at Ningtokong Public Park today. Attendees paid floral tribute to the portrait of Lamyanba Hizam Irawat on the occasion. Members of SFI, DWFI, Laumi Marub, CITU and AMDWA offered turban offerings at Hidden of Moirankom Loklaubung along Imphal River today as a part of 78th death anniversary of Jananita Hizam Irawat. United Front Manipur demanded to state government to provide monthly unemployment allowance to 7 lakh educated unemployed youths in the state. Speaking to media at Manipur Press Club in Imphal today, UFM Chairman Chapam Samungo said Manipur has 7 lakh educated unemployed youths at present. Though state government kept on announcing to provide jobs to educated youths, he demanded the government to provide monthly allowances of 2,000 rupees each to every unemployed matriculate, 3,000 rupees each to unemployed youth who passed second who passed class 12 and 4,000 rupees is to graduates and those having similar degree in other fields. Samungo lamented that cement factories, spinning mills and other being set up by government with an objective to provide job opportunities to youth are not functional at present. He thereby drew the attention of state government towards focusing on developing tourism sector, agriculture and small-scale industries to solve unemployment issues in the state. 
Moirang Assembly Constituency Intending Candidate come founder of Moirang Kendra Progressive Front T.H. Fanti is stressed on the need of state government to preserve our age-old culture and religion for the sake of future generation. He said this while interacting with members of Universal Friendship Organization, Thamnapokpi. T.H. Shanti handed over his GI seat to the organization in view that the organization is inaugurating the new branch office in Thamnapokpi. He lauded UFO for the efforts in preserving indigenous tradition and culture. I quit your identity, I quit your culture, man, everybody, I quit your good night. The ye, my day, he was at easy, man, he never even saw more even. A single lava, Satomas, a candidate of the UFO and Lori with Togansi, a quay young, not so toxic in a loser way. And no, I quit a quay culture, a quay identity, not the Canalaga, a quay identity, a quay culture, not vegan. Culture, the older identity later about Duma, Kunaido, Gramine, the socket of Kunaina, a quay lower. Oinam Assembly Constituency Intending Candidate Kam National Secretary BJP Kishan Mocha Kumucham Jiban said that he will contest an upcoming 12th General Assembly election and will strive to fulfill public trust bestowed upon him. He was speaking to media during a press meet held at his residence at Ringbam in Bishnupur district today. He clarified some intending candidates of Sam Constituency spreading rumors that he will not contest an upcoming election as baseless. He appealed public not to trust such people, adding that he will work towards achieving success in election of 2022. Around 250 women from Iringban Ward number 1 to 5 also attended the press meet. Time to issue Vidhan Sabha election. So, this is the main objective. Now, do the aim is to meet the main aim. Then, the Manipur Amadi, a quick Kendra, which is a quick thorang. Da, I have not said. I have not done. 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 Tongju constituency intending candidate Prashojit Sanglakpam in upcoming 12th Manipur Legislative Assembly election. The decision was taken during meeting held at Prashojit's residence in Kongman, John 2 today. Prashojit is also secretary of Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee. Various topics regarding elections were also discussed in the meet. Ketrigao Block Congress Seva Dal organized one day block level Seva Dal training program at Ketri Bengun Awang Lekai today. The event was held under the aegis of Ketrigao Block Congress Committee at former Ketrigao MLA MD Amin Saha's resident. General Secretary Administration of Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee Hadeshwar Gosami, General Secretary Amir Hussain, Manipur Pradesh Congress Seva Dal Chief Organizer T. H. Ethoibi. Imphal is district in charge L. Joy Malas, General Secretary, Minority Department, Firoz Ahmad Nongjai Mayum, Khetri Gao, Block Congress Committee President, Kang Chungjai Kamai also attended the event. Taking part in the event, attending candidate of Khetri Gao Assembly Constituency Kam, MPCC General Secretary, M. D. Admin Saha, assuring of taking up various youth and women front programs. He added that such will assist in understanding plights facing public and the current government and also stress on their rights. Election year ni hai dana thabu maya mama kok shalaga thabu su hai dukh dana lagi ba. Aaj ki matak su hai na sendas na ki phat bhi timing se su amak hai na thabu kongro ki tanzam su logo. Sumbe mein amishik se akhoi ki sabadal amadi Congress karmi lagi ba. Youth Congress sabadal mahila Congress parallel bodi se akhoi tanah raga. Kheti ka umun dalay ba amishik prajasi akhoi export explain to umid amak akhoi nasi training program se sindhani nu pi bukan gani beti para o beti bachao gaya hai riba. Lagi ba amishik se pige tum ba election ki jamoi ki ideologies ni mui na phong ramishik do. Nasi torukta bese akhoi ki mahila. 
PGD Investors Welfare Association strongly condemn unidentified persons hurling a Chinese hand grenade at the gate of PGD Enterprise Office at Kakchin Turil Wangma Tonglan yesterday. Speaking to media at Kakchang Makali Kai today, Association President N. Brazen appealed to all concerned not to repeat such act in future since it could harm civilians and hinder activities taken up by PGD Enterprise and the Association. Kanagumba Sakanda Singa, Bone Plant, Tormibasi, Madu PGD Committee, Tarapagi Yaman Majade, Maramaduna, Sigumba, Ni Shibayaba, Sopayaba, Tabashima Se, a great PGD Committee, Magedegi, Yaman Kanayan Daba, Kandian Tauzari, Maduna, Asimba Tabase, Matunga Mohana, Tobirkanu, Arab Kanagumana, Nuaitaba, Gidam Tatobo and Mabusu, Karimarami Toribano Hagado, Sindopian. A book entitled Kunai Semgalakpada Hijam Irabot Ki Taudang, co written by Ning Taujam Bid Chandra and Yaifaba Ning Taujam, was released at GP Women College today. The book is published by GM Publication Kaisantong Longjam Leira. Director of Center for Entrepreneurship and Skill Development, Manipur University, Professor C.H. Bohal Maitai, SCERTVE Professor Dr. Ahibam Romain, and GP Women College Professor Dr. W. Romes attended the event. Publisher of GM Publications, Longjam Sumarendro, expressed belief that the book will benefit youths while doing research on Hizam Irawat. A book entitled Fongamdra China Khol, written by Mutum Ramani, was released at Manipur Press Club today. The book was released under the banner of Leimarol Khojai Khol, Lai Khol. The book comprising of 14 short stories tries to show the relation between human and animals. The 46th Rotary on the Sport Pending Competition 2021 was organized on education is our backbone at Rotary Bhavan in Mantripukhi Imphal today. The competition was held as part of vocational service of Rotary Club of Imphal by following COVID SOPs. Dolas Lambamayum of St. George School, Wangkai, Prashila Hikrujam of Kendre Vidyalaya Lamphil Path, and Martin Tongram of Pitambara English School, Kwaketel secured first, second, and third, respectively. Prizes for the competition will be distributed during the 58th Club Foundation Day celebration of Rotary Club. The Public Health Engineering Department Contractors Association Manipur today convened its general body meeting at Chanampukri Mapal Community Hall in Imphal. Association members during the meet also observed a two-minute silence as a mark of respect to the late M. Imomacha, who served as a chief engineer of PHED. As part of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's 71st birth anniversary month celebrated as Seva or Samarpan Tongju Assembly Constituency Youth or Polling Station 5x5 have planted saplings at the historical area of Lamdaibung in Kakwa today. Cleanliness drive was also carried out in the surrounding areas of Lamdaibung. The event aimed to encourage youths towards more participation in sports for building healthy society. Like I see, I think I have a quick Lambda Bungi, Lampaga Sibu, Quinasi, Shengtu, Tana, Sumba Tabama, Quichatazavani, Aduga, Hiber, Mapam Sidaso, Equina, Usa, Quay, 
थाजन बगी प्रोग्राम सु कोई मथम मतंग लेजरी अदुगा लोइने ना मथम सिद लेरीबा नारोन सिंगसी मखोई सिंगसी निसा पुसा सात नबा अदुगो सान ब्रम द माय ओनसे लखनबा अदुगी लमदा एखोइना असा थमजरगा एखोइ हाइबो सोसल सर्विस के हमसे जो पांगदुक सबनी हाइबा जगा सिद गे अफबा जुत सिंग जिना सेंगा लागा तुंगी अफबा युमुरेल अम ओइने ना बगी द मता अखोइने मदुगी पांदमदा हाइबा सोसल सर्विस अहान द खुंगथा ओइना कोइ लखुत जरगा Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Various political parties demand Chief Minister to step down from Home Minister Post in wake of abduction and murder of Atwan Abonmai's case, where Abonmai was abducted in front of security personnel. Truck drivers transporting goods along National Highway No. 37 calls cheering will down strike starting 6 a.m. tomorrow against failure of authorities concerned to repair National Highway No. 37. Woman dies after child delivery at Wangui Community Health Center. Enraged family members from the CAC demanding termination of doctor and staff. Manipur reports 210 new COVID-19 cases and three days in last 24 hours. COVID positivity rate stands at 7.07%. And India at 28,326 fresh COVID-19 cases, 26,032 recoveries and 260 deaths in 24 hours. Recovery rate stands at 97.77%. That's all we have in this bulletin. Thank you for being with us. Coming up next is Prime Time Manipuri Bulletin. For more news, you can also follow Impact TV on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube. Have a great evening and stay safe.